Dark Theme is a set of extensions aimed to bring dark color themes to popular products, such as Google Search and YouTube. I'm going to demonstrate two of these extensions, one being the dark theme for Google and one being the YouTube dark theme. So first, we must add the dark theme for Google to our browser. After adding this extension to our browser, we can then go ahead and pin it to the browser toolbar. Simply left click on the jigsaw icon here and then left click on the pin. Now you'll notice the icon inside the toolbar for the dark theme for Google. To go ahead and start testing this, we can go ahead and visit google.com. Instantly, we'll see a dark theme is currently in place. And this can be toggled by simply left clicking on and off. This covers multiple pages of Google, such as the initial search, any kind of search result queries, and things as well, such as Google Translate. Going into multiple different Google products. Not only does this handle Google with the nice configured theme that we see here, but we can also add further customization with the options panel built in with this extension. To view this options panel, we simply right click and then select options. Here we're taken to our browser extension options and we can see all the different options available. So we can change the main font color. For example, at the moment, it's slightly off white, a very light gray. We could change that to gray if we want, uh, white if we wanted to. Now when we go ahead and refresh, turning it on and off again, we can see the text is now white rather than the light gray we saw previously. We could go ahead and change the link color, make that red if we preferred. And as you can see here, this has changed as well. And we can configure this on and off as well. Not only do we have the predefined uh, color and option selections by the options panel, but we can also set customized CSS rules. So say for example, we wanted to edit this button here and give it a custom border color. All we can do is look at the class here, which is GB underscore four, and then write a custom style rule. For example, a rule like so. You start off by writing HTML.dark, so it only kicks in on the dark version of Google. Otherwise, it will show on every single version. Then go ahead and use the selector, and we've given the custom border rule. Now, when we save this and revisit, we'll notice we have the new customized color in place. Simply remove this and save it again, and it no longer shows. If we go ahead and save this and then turn it off, it no longer shows. However, if we remove the dark query, we can now see that it does indeed show here because we haven't got the dark query specifically set there. So we can add that back. Along with choosing these color options, you can also enable to bring in an automatic version of when this should kick in. So you can turn it on and off at specific times of the day. So then this is automatically going to change your Google and other Google products to the dark theme version as demonstrated in this video. You can then go ahead and add specific other versions as well, such as the YouTube dark theme. So to start, we add this to our browser. Upon adding this to our browser, we then go ahead and pin it. After pinning it, we then see it inside our browser toolbar. So now we can go ahead and visit youtube.com and we'll see this dark version in place. There's also an options panel with this extension as well, allowing us to change the background color, text color, border color, and toolbar color. We also have the automated timing as well as, again, the custom CSS rules. So these two extensions give you a fantastic way of viewing dark themed versions of YouTube and Google products.